to the channel and welcome back to Monster Legends. In this day's video it's going to be leaks on the next Legends Pass monster, King Jarmus. So we'll start off with the stats. Life, 86,861. That is right around the middle. Um, it's not that high but it's definitely not that low. Power, that is again around the middle. Um, it's because he's an attacker, however he's an extra turner so he does not have that high of a power stat. Speed 6336 and I believe that that is one of the highest of all the corrupted monsters if not the highest. So now I'll get on to his trait. So rank 0 hardened, this could be useful. Um, rank 1 means poison, that is probably one of the worst traits he could have. And self life regen, again one of the worst status casters because he's an attacker and not a tank. So the relic, sword and mask, and I think, yep, he has a sword in his picture, so that was, um, you could definitely, you definitely knew that. Now, King of the Pond, does moderate nature damage to enemy, and that's 40, dam 40 damage, um, zero cooldown, so you could use this if you know you're going to get hit with CDA. Um, not blonde anymore, deals low nature damage to all enemies, you do not need this skill. Because it is not shown the Endurath on King of the Pond if you are looking for a zero cooldown skill. So, Tussle's Moustache buys life and stamina regen to itself, zero, cool, zero cooldown and zero stamina. So, this skill normally wouldn't be useful, however, if you do have Unrenting Assault, later in the video I'll tell you a really good reuse for this skill. So now Dirty Amulet deals moderate nature damage to all enemies, but it's poison to all enemies. It's quite a good skill, but he is an extra turner, so I don't know if you would run that. Now it gets to the extra turn skills. Deal Entangled Cloak deals no low nature damage to all enemy, gives one extra turn to itself, 20 damage to cooldown. Um, Pure Quest deals moderate nature damage to all enemy, applies nature weakness to all enemy, gives one extra turn to itself. So this is an extra turn setup skill, so you could then follow up with a stronger attack, and since they have nature weakness, it would be even stronger. And I don't think I've mentioned this, but this monster is a corrupted Steam Wrath, or you could say a corrupted Prince Charmless, because with if he has lots of stamina, then he can attack infinitely. So pure, and we've already went through that, Sweaty Blade, does moderate nature damage to one enemy, plays poison to one enemy, because one extra turn to itself. 30 damage, um, 3 cooldown. Now, this po poison torture does um, reduce damage output by 20%, so if they have an attacker, you could use that on them and also give an extra turn. So, Crown Throne deals heavy nature damage to one enemy, gives one extra turn to itself, um, 35 stamina cost, and 3 cooldown. Now his ultimate, my final song, deals heavy special damage to all enemies, plays bleed to all enemies, plays 3 turn death count to all enemies. This is quite a good skill for ultimate for an attacker. And it has a high accuracy, so you know you're not going to be missing unless you have days or any other accuracy reduction. So now I'll tell you how you, if you have unrenting assault. So you could do Crown Throne, go through all your extra turn skills, so go through three extra turn skills, so probably Crown Throne, Sweaty Blade, Pure Quest, and then Unlenting Assault would trigger on the last one with Pure Quest, and then since on Pure Quest you give yourself an extra turn, Unlenting Assault gives you an extra turn, so you have two turns, so on one of those turns give yourself Life and Stamina Regen to help you with Stamina, and then you'll just regen stamina like crazy if you have hundreds of stamina with stamina runes. Of that, it's only if you have unrenting assault, and this will not work if you don't. So if you don't have unrenting assault, I would recommend Crown Throne, Sweaty Blade, Pure Quest, and probably Dirty Amulet just for an AOE skill. So overall, in wars, this monster I think will be really good. As Steam Wrath was, because all extra turn attackers, you and the rune setup you would probably go is two stamina and one strength, or two strength and one stamina, or you could just run a rainbow with speed, stamina, and strength. It's really up to you, depending on if you're in a war and what situation you're in. 
So overall, I do really like this monster, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, remember to like and subscribe, turn that notification bell so you don't miss out on a future upload, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.